Hey guys and welcome to the next tutorial. So today we're going to be looking at how to create this Wi-Fi enabled LED strip light crystal. So the strip that I'm using here is a Xiaomi uh, Yi light strip and basically all I did is I put it at the bottom of my crystal and now once it's connected to Wi-Fi I'm able to control the colors using my mobile phone. So you can see here that I'm moving the colors around and um, you know whatever color I pick I can then change the colors of the actual strip lighting. Now this is pretty cool because it's, uh, it's very convenient and you can uh, do it on your app and all you have to do is just be connected to the Wi-Fi. So now let's have a look in Fusion 360 how to make the crystal lamp. Hi and welcome to the next part of the video. So today we're going to learn how to create this uh, crystal in Fusion 360. We're going to make sure that it's hollow so we can fit all of our LEDs and all of our lights in there. And we're going to try and make sure that it doesn't have too many crazy angles or any like complete really sharp edges. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to a new design inside of Fusion. We need to make sure that we click on create form and then we need to click on quad ball. We're going to work in the top plane and I'm just going to use the origin as our starting point. I'm going to make this quad ball a little bit bigger, just like that, maybe about 80 mils in diameter and leave all the other settings as they were. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we highlight the entire shape and we go to right click and go to crease. So once we've done that, now we can start to tinker around with how the actual crystal looks. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the front view and I'm going to highlight the, the top half of the shape. And then once I've done that, if I right click on that and if I go to edit form, now all these commands pop up and I can actually start to move this around. Now, like I said, you don't want to go too crazy on some of the angles, but what you want to do is you want to be able to just move around some of the sections. So if I click on that point right at the top, now it gives me a nice point at the top. I can also bring down some of these sections and make it a little bit tighter. But now if I want to make the base, you know, a little bit flatter, I can actually double click on this entire thing that wraps around our crystal and we can go and move that down if we wanted to. But then you can go and you can actually edit each individual section if you like and you can kind of change the angles. But like I said, you don't want to make it too crazy because otherwise it just, it will not print. So anyways, once you're happy with your shape, don't worry too much about the bottom because we're going to pretty much cut the bottom off. That's the next step that we need to do. We need to basically create an offset plane that we can pretty much use to split this body in half and then we can use our other features like shell to be able to hollow out the inside. So I'm just going to turn my origin back on just so that I can see my planes. I'm going to go to construct offset plane and I'm going to click on that plane there and I'm just gonna lift it up a little bit to where I want the whole shape to have a base so if I if I cut it there that means that that will be the base of the actual project so once I've done that and press OK I then need to click finish form and then I'm going to go to modify split body and the two things we need to worry about the body to split is the entire thing but the splitting tool now we need to get into that um, offset plane that we've created so I'm just going to take off that just so it's a little bit easier to see and I'm just going to click on the plane that I've used but now we have two separate bodies and if we go into our bodies you can see that we have separate bodies so we only need the top part so we can actually remove this and there we have our crystal. Now if you want to go back and edit it's the same process again but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the shell command. So 
Alright, shell, or you can go into uh, modify shell. I'm just going to click inside here and I'm going to give it a thickness of 5 mils. So now this has hollowed out the inside. The only other thing that we need to worry about is the place for the wires to get you know through to the lights. So I'm just going to make a small little hole just over here that sits, it's, it'll be nearly like a, a semicircle I guess. So I'm going to follow the same process again. I'm going to go to construct, offset plane. I'm going to get the origin back on. Now I'm going to use this plane over here and I'm just going to bring the, the plane out just nearly until it touches the edge of the crystal. All right, so I'm just going to bring it out a little bit more. So now that I have that offset plane, now I can put my little semicircle in there. So I'm just going to take the origin off. I'm going to go into sketch, circle, circle diameter. I'm going to use this uh, plane and I'm just going to put a small circle, about five mils. Now you can see when we extrude that and we only need the top part. Now we have a small gap at the bottom that we can feed all of our wires through and, and then that, that should be enough to hide all those wires. So once you're done with that, the last thing that we need to check is we need to see if all of the angles that we have put onto this shape actually work. So we're going to have to go to make 3D print object and basically I'm going to put it into our slicing software. So here you can see that all of this orange stuff over here, that's our support material. And as we go through and create this entire crystal, so you can see that no support material was needed for the creation of this uh, little crystal. So then that's okay to print. The print time for something like this, especially that size, will be a couple of hours. Anyways guys, thanks for watching this short little video about how to create this LED crystal. I hope you have fun in your designs. See you next time.